but you're gonna see how this B route here will get open at about 40 yards, which is you know deeper than any zone drop depth you can make. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new money play for you guys today. An explosive passing play that I guarantee nobody knows about. This is a play that's only found in one offensive playbook in the game, the Buffalo Bills. This is a play that I recently found. The Buffalo Bills is the last ebook that I put out. It's one of the largest ebooks that I put out all year. It's one of the best playbooks in the game. Now, the formation itself is the Gun Trips TE, and the play itself is the Deep End. Now, you're typically going to want to make sure that your best receiver is at this spot here, but I actually have my worst receiver. I'm actually going to be doing this with uh, one of my worst receivers, but also one of my fastest receivers in Isaiah McKenzie. So, we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover two that we always do and work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and you don't want to bother spending money on packs, check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, the route that I'm going to feature on this play uh, against pretty much every defense is going to be the B route um, i have a couple different options if i want to on a cover two like this i can just streak the y route and the b route here will have a lot of success right over the middle um, i don't have to make any motions you can see a little bit of a tight window with that safety there i can make that bigger if i motion out the tight end which is something that i'm going to do quite a bit so it's going to do that but motioning the tight end over that's going to pull that safety apart even better and it's going to make a much bigger throwing window over the middle so that's something that like i said i'm going to be doing a lot anyway so that might be the best way to handle it against cover two you can also motion him across put the a route on a streak i would find this way it would probably be best to motion snap it so it doesn't get uh, zone chucked but you can see how this receiver can get over the top outside as well um, just as long as you motion them across. So that route's very good against cover two. Against cover two, man has a lot of success as well. We'll go and pick that. So this play's gonna be the exact same setup. Just put the Y route on a streak. I can motion out the tight end if I want to, but I don't have to. The B route typically gets an inside release. And then I just basically bullet and pass lead right over the middle for an easy one play touchdown right up to the center of the field. I can make that motion across again. Streak my tight end. I give myself a check down with the Y route, say, if I were to do this. But ultimately, I don't want to let him get set because if I do, he'll get jammed. And here, he will not. And then you can see we get outside of that again. So this will beat cover two in a multitude of ways, whether it's man or zone. Next up, we'll do cover three. Obviously, this is popular. Now, this play also beats cover three, but I would say it probably beats cover three the least out of all the coverages. Um, you can't make the motion like I did before against cover two. But all you really want to do now is put the Y route on a, uh, on a slant and then streak the X route. I could make this motion once again. I'd say it's most important against cover three to make this motion. So this is gonna be the setup here. Typically gonna roll out just to buy some time. And then you can see that B route can get going up the middle there, but you can see it's a pretty tight window. I'm also using a pretty uh, average speed receiver. McKenzie is only 92 speed, so that might be why. I know in a lot of videos I typically use Marcus Hollywood Brown and stuff like that, or much faster receivers. I didn't want to do that just to show because a lot of people say in the comments that these plays only work with fast receivers, but they really work with average receivers. So here we go one more time. Like I said, this B route here is going to get up the center, and it's really all about the throw at that point. As you can see, that was actually a much tighter window. So next up, we got cover four. We're going to do cover four match first. It's going to pick cover quarters. This play is probably, if you have a fast enough receiver anyway, a natural one play touchdown against cover four quarters. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the Y route here on a 10 yard comeback or a 10 yard curl rather. Uh, as you can see, this is going to be all I need to make this play very explosive against cover four. The B route here gets gone pretty quickly. Like I said, if you have a fast enough receiver, you don't have to make any adjustments because it'll basically just beat this safety or beat this corner anyway. 
But in my scenario, if I want to get more separation, just putting this guy on a 10-yard curl is the way to go. And you're going to see he basically just gets right past uh, the safety. Is there some sort of communication problems based off of the three routes on the left side there? Is the other safety or cornerbacks in the area? But he doesn't really help out the way that he should. He kind of just lags behind. And then last but not least, we have cover four drop, which is cover four regular. We have to go to the dollar formation to find that. But let's go and let's pick that. This is probably best run from a hash mark to the... Uh, short side of the field, but I can run it like this. I'm just going to put the Y route here on a drag. I'm going to block the A route, and this is pretty much all I'm going to have to do here uh, for this B route to be able to play touchdown. i got to wait till it gets across the field, which is probably the biggest issue, but you can see that it does get across eventually. That's why I said running to the short side is probably better. Because if you run to the short side, it doesn't take as long for that receiver to get across. So we're going to do that again. Like I said, block the A route, put the uh, Y route on a drag for a check down. It also pulls down the coverage. And eventually this B route here will get open a lot quicker over the uh, over the center there. As you can see, it's not quite a catch from a one-play touchdown, but it gets going. This play also has a really good pass play called the verticals. Now this play here is good against just about any defense. So I'm going to pick random. This play here, all you have to do is put the A route on a streak, put the Y route on a drag, and the Y route on the B route will get open against just about any single defense of the game. I'm also going to block my running back so I can have a little more pass pro from time to time. But you're going to see how this B route here will get open at about 40 yards, which is you know deeper than any zone drop depth you can make. So if your opponent likes to run 25, 30, it's not going to matter when it comes to this particular setup, which is one of the things that I really like about it, um, is it'll get past just about any defense in the game. Here we go once again. Not sure if that's a cover two, but like I said, I'm getting 40 yards deep before uh, I make that pass. This route does take a little bit of time to develop, but the most important thing is um, you know, bullet and pass leading away. It takes a little bit of time, but once it gets there, bullet, pass lead away, you can get open against just about any defense game. I don't know why I didn't catch that. <laughs> he was there. I don't know what happened. But I'm not even reading the defense. Here it looks like we have a blitz coming, so I definitely got to be ready. But um, I'm not even reading the defense right now. I'm basically just, you know, making the throw, drop it in, drop it in the hat, and I think we're going to get our touchdown here, though we did not. But like I said, I don't even know what the defenses were. Man or zone, doesn't matter, has the exact same success. It's also got some really good run plays. Um, there's a halfback counter and an inside zone. I'm going to pick the halfback counter. We'll go ahead and we'll continue. I mean, you know, people are going to come out and pretty pass heavy packages. So let's go and let's go with random nickel. I mean, the inside zone's a really good run play. Um, you know, just about any formation is a really good bread and butter play. And most run formations don't really have the counterplay like we have here. I find the counterplay might be the better of the two, but it takes a little bit longer to develop, as you can see right there. It takes a little bit of time. It really depends on where you have your gaps. Like right here, got a man coverage. You know, there's nothing really on this side. So it's nice to have that counter punch to go the opposite direction because most people pretty much will, you know, shift their defense waiting for an inside zone because inside zones are typically the only uh, run plays that people have. You can see right there, not a lot of success, really wasn't a lot of opportunity. But if you have something like this here, like a man coverage, this uh, this counter is going to be very good just as long as I uh, don't run in my lineman like I did there. So between the two, I mean, it really depends on where the, the where the lanes are. Like right here, not as much, you know, in the direction of the, of the inside zone. So I can definitely run either one. But it's nice to have two run plays in two different directions. Because like I said, a lot of gun formations don't have that. Here's another one. We don't really have anybody in the direction of the inside zone. So, you know, this is something you can definitely create a very potent running attack and force your opponent forward uh, before um, you know hitting him over the top with some of the one play touchdowns and with some of the bombs uh, that I showed earlier in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there uh, because like I said, I have a full passing scheme out of this and I think it's, it's some of the plays that I haven't shown are just as glitchy as uh, some of the plays that I have. So uh, make sure to hit the like button and I'll try to put out a full scheme of this. I can put it out tomorrow. I mean, if this really blows up, I'll put out a full passing scheme out of this tomorrow. So hit the like button and let me know in the comments section to see that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.